Jolly Rancher in, make it sweeter. Versace my clothes, I wear a white hoe and she snorting three lines like Adidas. Got a black girl rolling off Molly. Got a white bitch snoring off snow. Says she want real niggas in a party. Parents gonna leave the key. Hey, what up, y'all? We're gonna be doing a full on restoration on these Mocha 3s. Can you just look at them? God damn! It's like someone got high and thought it was a good idea to roll something like a marshmallow. Damn! Tell me that was not your reaction because I know it was. Hey, but first things first, man, we gotta take out that toe cap stitching if you wanna do anything to the shoe. So we have a clear access to removing all of that crumbled midsole. Removing the insole will make it a whole lot easier to remove the toe cap stitching, so make sure you do that first. Because of how worn and old the shoes are, it's easy for us to remove the uppers from the midsole. Our next step is to remove the rubber sole away from the midsole. So what we're going to do is we're going to use boiling water to help assist us. The reason why we need heat to remove the adhesive from the midsole is because heat has a lot of kinetic energy. And with that much energy, we're turning the solid adhesive into a liquid form, making it easier for us to just pull it away. Science rules. Now that we've removed the majority of that crumbled midsole off, there's still bits and pieces still left on the midsole as well as the remnants of the factory adhesive. So we're gonna use the same principles we used to remove the uppers using heat. So by using a heat gun to melt the adhesive, we're making the solid adhesive into a liquid form and using a solvent, AKA the acetone, to remove it clean off. Before I started my YouTube channel, I didn't really see anyone else implement these methods, you know what I mean? So I'm glad a lot of people are using my methods, especially Jose Ramirez. So back to the restoration, we're gonna use a Dremel tool to remove the bits and pieces that we might have missed. This is just to ensure that we won't have any separations because of uh, the old factory still being there. And we just want to make sure that all of it's gone by using uh, acetone and con balls. As you can clearly see, the soles are dookie pooky, so we're going to use my Michael Secret Sauce to wind them all up and make them look brand new as possible. It's the best on the market, better than anything else. Alright, so I have these True Blues from 2011 as my donors. I feel like all the Jordan 3s from 2011 are the best suitable donors. Anything newer, they change the foam so they kind of tend to rip on you. So I choose uh, 2011 to be my best donors. So with a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, editing, I'm able to remove the donors quick and easy. So now that the midsole paint has been fully stripped, we're going to make sure that the fitment is correct on the OG sole. I also noticed that a lot of people leave this gap because they don't know how to manipulate the midsole. All you have to do is just cut the front of the, uh, the foam on the toe box. All I'm using is an X-Acto knife and you have to calculate how far you want to cut otherwise you'll be cutting too much and it'll, you'll feel it in your toes that there's something missing. So 
now the sun's out, bun's out, we're gonna clear the souls by using my micro secret stuff. It's gonna deoxidize the souls, it's gonna freshen up the souls, it's gonna make it look brand new A1 steak sauce. So the next step in our full restoration is to whiten and freshen up these insoles. Cause boy, I don't know what this boy did. He probably walked 10 miles barefoot, attracted all that gum and mud, you know what I'm saying? And decided to put these on without any socks on? What? I have a full in-depth tutorial on how to perform this whitening method. You can whiten your laces, your insoles, your white mesh on your concrete 11s, your prime knit, your fly knits, anything that's white, I'll leave it in the description below. I'm going to be doing the same steps on a sock liner and on a tongue because look how nasty that looks. Honestly man, like how do you get the interior of the shoes? I get the outside, you know what I mean? You're, you're, you're treading against elements, but how do you get the inside of the liner dirty? Like you gotta be a dirty ass person to be, you know, you, you know what I'm saying? Just like everything else we've whitened, we're gonna apply the same methods onto the sock liner and on the tongue. So we're gonna be using a blue laundry detergent, white bright mixed with water. I think I, I put at least a spoonful in a cup that size cause too much will ruin your leather. So this is what they look like deoxidized on the rubber sole, the toe cap whitened, and also the inner lining and the tongue as well as the insole whitened. And what I'm doing here is I'm repainting the midsoles before I glue them on the rubber sole. This will save me time, I don't have to worry about much about tape prepping, and it's just quick and easy. So I made my very own mix of off-white, which consists of white, a little, a little touch of vanilla, and a little bit of brown. And that's how I get my eggshell white midsole color. Man, so now we're gonna be replacing the back tabs and I'm using a true blue 3 back tab that I've gotten from my Benso donor So what I'm doing is I'm using an exacto knife to cut the stitching away from the elephant print And you want to check how well it fits if it doesn't fit too well You can just cut the little edge off of the plastic tab itself to make more room So how I'm gonna remove the blue paint off of the tab is I'm gonna be using a Dremel tool This is not advised. I just do it because it's a lot faster and uh, I have more control using a Dremel tool, so if you're new to using a Dremel tool, you're gonna f*** it up. So use acetone and con balls. One thing that I'm gonna be doing differently from everyone else is I'm not going to do a simulated stitching. I'm actually gonna stitch the tabs onto the back panel of the Jordan 3s. I am not the first person to do this method. Um, I believe it's Rick and Rob because he's the first person that I saw on Instagram to do this. But this will be the first time on video. So what I'm doing first is I'm locking it down. I'm locking the tabs down um, with uh, bar cement super stick, making sure it's secure so when I stitch it, it doesn't move around. So what I'm using is a sewing awl that I use to restitch toe caps, and the thread I bought, I bought it at Joanne's Fabric. Restitching the back tab is a lot easier than restitching the toe box because you're able to see where the thread goes. You know what I mean? Because in the toe box, you don't really see anything. But it's a lot longer since you have to like go through the top layer and then the bottom layer. So it's a lot longer. So to paint the jump man, I'm going to be using the Angelus pen. And you need to mix a 50-50 ratio of the paint and too thin, just so it doesn't get clogged up. So after we paint the jump man, we're gonna use a heat gun to set it in there. So 
So now it's finally time to combine all the pieces together. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to tape up the areas I don't want to get adhesive on. So it's just all prep work, you know what I'm saying? It's just a lot of time, but it's worth it. And it's worth it in the end. So I'm going to coat the rubber sole with a thin layer of Bart Cement Super Stick. Come back to it to apply a second layer just so our re-glues will be a lot stronger. So we're gonna prep the uppers because we didn't remove the factory adhesive yet. So we're gonna tape up the uppers to remove the factory adhesive. Um, we're gonna use cotton balls and acetone to assist us again and that's all what we're gonna do. Again, using a Dremel tool will help us drastically since it'll clump up all of the adhesive um, so we won't be wasting a lot of acetone and cotton balls in the process. So now that the uppers are adhesive free, we're going to prep the midsole by applying a thin layer of, of Bart Cement Super Stick and we're going to hit the rubber sole again with our second layer of Bart Cement Super Stick. So we're going to let the adhesive cure for a couple of hours and we're going to activate it again with heat so that the bond is really strong. So now we're going to adjust the filament on the midsole to accommodate the different sizing on the uppers. Since we are using donors from 2011 and the shoes are from 2001. There is a 10 year difference of fitment. So we're gonna use a Dremel tool to make sure that the foam is sitting lower so that the uppers can look flush. So just like the rubber sole, we're going to apply two thin layers of Bart Cement Super Stick so our re-glues will be a lot more stronger and the uppers won't be going anywhere. I'm using a C-clamp to secure the uppers to the midsole just to make sure that it's not moving around so when I apply my tape, I know exactly where the midsole is going to meet the uppers. So now it's time to apply our Bart Cement Super Stick onto the midsole and on the uppers. Oops, my bad. I totally forgot to glue down the elephant print onto the back tab. So we're just going to tape it up, uh, apply adhesive on the elephant print, let it sit for five minutes, and then clamp them together. So we're going to heat up the adhesive on both the uppers and the midsole. After we clamp them down and bond them together, we're going to restitch the toe cap and I'll leave a link down in the description on how you can do that.
it up, y'all. If you guys enjoyed this video, man, I know you did because you watched the whole video. So what's good? What's popping? Make sure to comment what you guys thought about the video. Is there something that you want me to improve on? Is there something that you liked? You know, let me know. I do repair athletic footwear as my business, so make sure to go down in the description below to find my email or look right there in that bottom right corner for my email, manalarestorations at gmail.com. Make sure to send me detailed photos detailed description just don't be sending me photos give me a description of what you want me to do all right so yeah man wait, wait hold on hold on hold on hold on the hello tune in next week for my next video you won't be disappointed all right salute god bless